Hey guys! So today for Try It Out Tuesday, I'm going to be trying the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and Powder. So I've been wanting to try this for a really long time now. Well, it feels like a really long time. My friend Abby, when she was here at iMats, was using it and raving about it, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it ever since. I've just had so many other things that I needed to try first, and I just feel like I have so many foundations right now, but this is seriously sounds like my ideal foundation, like matte and poreless. Like, what oily skin girl doesn't want to be matte and poreless? Like, that's my dream. So, I'm really excited to try this. I love that it's a drugstore foundation. It was $5.99 for the foundation and $5.99 for the powder, which is such a great deal. Um, so, I'm super, super excited to try this. It says it's for normal to oily skin, which I'm an oily, oily girl. So, this is pretty much made for me, and I am really excited to try it. My friend Abby doesn't have as oily of skin as I do, but she really liked it, and so so I'm really gonna put it to the oil challenge test today because you guys know I'm like the oiliest person in the world. So I'm really excited to try this and let's put it on. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the foundation, obviously, and I got the color 120 Classic Ivory. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my hand. Oh, it's really thick. And I have a damp beauty blender. And I'm just gonna start working that in and see how it works. It's really difficult to get out of the bottle, and I feel like I've had to go back in a lot to get more foundation. Um, even though it feels really thick when it's coming out of the bottle, it actually goes on really thin. It's not super full coverage, it's definitely buildable though, so I just gotta go on with a couple layers to cover like my problem areas that are really red. Okay, so that's it with the foundation, and now I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I already know I love because I have rebought this like a ton of times. I just rebought it again when I was buying this because I wanted to, and this is in the shade Sand, which is kind of like a yellow undertone. Okay, now I'm going to set that with the Matte Fit Me powder, and I got this also in 120 Classic Ivory. They did have a translucent one too, which I thought was a nice option, but I wanted a little extra coverage in my powder. Okay, so now I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and just kind of see how this sets in while um, I do the rest of my makeup and just see how it all looks all together. Okay, so now that I have the rest of my makeup done and the foundation and powder have really set in and I've had time to really look at it, my first impression is that it really is matte and poreless. Like really it dries very, very matte looking. Like I don't see any shine coming through at all and it really does minimize the look of pores and overall my skin looks really, really smooth. Like especially my pores right here are usually really noticeable and I think that like it's amazing like I actually look like I don't have any pores right here so I'm really excited to see how this holds up I'm gonna be outside in the Sun so I'm really gonna be able to test to see how it holds through the oil and just kind of see how the lasting power is and everything like that so I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and see how everything still looks Okay guys, so it is now 2.30. I've had this foundation on for about six hours. I put it on around 8.30. And I'm about to head out for a sunset hike. So I'm about to take off all my makeup and I wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know what I thought of this foundation from my first day impression so far. And it did a really good job of staying matte throughout the entire day, which is really great for oily skin people. So obviously if you have dry skin, I would not recommend this foundation for you because it's not moisturizing at all. It's very very matte, dries very flat, which for oily skin is a good thing, but if you have normal or dry skin, um, I might recommend maybe the regular Fit Me, or they do have a dewy finish one for those of you who like a dewy finish. Like I said when I first put it on, it did make my skin look very smooth and very poreless, which was really impressive. I've actually never tried a product before that actually made me feel like my skin looked poreless. Um, throughout the day, as some of my oil came through, I could see my pores a little bit more than I did at the beginning when I first applied it, but I still think it looks pretty smooth and really even. And now that I've had it on for six hours, some of my redness, you can see some of my blemishes are kind of showing through. Um, so I might pair this with a anti-red primer. I have a few of those. And try them out and see if that helps fight some of the redness that shows through. But overall, as you can tell, 
I think it looks still really good. Um, it still looks very smooth, very even, very well covered, and very matte, which I like a lot. So I've been really, really impressed with this for $5.99. I can't believe both of these. I didn't have to touch up at all throughout the day, and I think it looks great. So I've been really, really impressed with this. And if you have oily skin and you're looking for a good matte drugstore foundation and powder, I highly recommend both of these. They're so inexpensive, and they really do what they're advertised for. They really do keep your skin matte all day and they really do kind of give you a poreless finish look which is really cool and really nice because ain't nobody like big pores I know I don't so yeah I'm really happy with this the only thing I wasn't like super stoked on was that it's like really hard to come out of the bottle I felt like I had to like very aggressively dump this out to get any product on my hands so I'm gonna see if I have a pump from an old foundation bottle that I can screw on this that'll fit so I can just pump it out because that would be a lot easier. I mean, for $5.99, I cannot complain. It was a great foundation and a great powder, so I'm really happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Try It Out Tuesday. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other products that you guys would like me to try, or maybe things other than makeup products. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to try for the next week's Try It Out Tuesday. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye.